Hi, and welcome back to Who Intends Crafts. I did a small Joanne, jo jo uh, Joanne's, Joanne's haul. She's gonna get it out, and I thought I would share with you. So, I made a hat, and I am super duper in love with the new Big Twist Freelance yarn. Ooh, I want to make a sweater out of it. I really love it. I mean, beyond love. Let me know if you use it and what you feel about it because I truly do love it. Now, I just made a hat. I didn't make a bigger project, so we'll see in a bigger project, but just working with it, I really love it. I used the color Red Multi, and again, it's Big Twist Freelance. It has 200, sorry, fuzz. 206 yards in it and size 4 medium you can use a 5 mm crochet hook or a 5 to 5 mm uh, knitting needles three skeins make a blanket four skeins a sweater one skein a hat and three skeins make a sweater and a hat I knitted my hat I used the recommended knitting needle size which I use I chose a size 5 mm and it didn't even i mean i have plenty to where i can make a whole other hat so i don't know i'm gonna now my next one i do i'm definitely gonna crochet and see how much it takes out of crochet so i'm thinking you could probably do two hats per scheme we'll see um but look at this look at that big old chunk chunk <laughs> now <laughs> I'm going to show you the hat I need. Um, it's an owl hat. <laughs> Duh. But um, the owls I use, the owl, uh, I use pink and I use uh, Eagle Brights. So, and I did not color control. The only color control in was the owl. That was it because I used the same pink. But other than that, I did not color control. And it came out like beyond perfect. Look. Isn't this so cute? Ooh, on camera you really see the owl stood. Oh, I love it. I did not color control this. This all did it all by itself. Now with knitting, um, when you're doing this, it's like a bare aisle knitting and you have little, um, <coughs> sorry, that time it was for real. Ooh. There's like little fuzzes flying and it got sucked up in my throat. But um, I just pulled from the center and I just started doing it. And it just did it all by itself. And I told myself, I'm not going to color control. I'm just going to let it go with the flow. And look, oh, I love it. Even the top. Because this is how like I truly envisioned it. So like I was saying, uh, when, you do your, when you're doing fair isle knitting, you carry your yarn the whole way around. Because if you were just doing like one owl in the center, you wouldn't do that. You would like break it off here. I mean, you could carry it the whole way around, but most of the time you don't. You just like do it here and then you do like a fancy little thing. But yeah, you carry it the whole way through. So the reason why I'm saying that is I thought like, okay, this deep um, wine color would like stop right here and then it would probably go to the next color, but it didn't. It did all of this, then all of this, and then right at the end of the owl ears, it started going to this really pretty red that has like flecks of white in it. Oh, I just love that. Say this isn't so like fallish. Even snowy days, like I need some mittens. I'm making mittens. I want to make mittens so bad. I even purchased these really cute owl mittens that I want to do to match the hats. I want to do it so bad. But, well, you know what? Never give up. I always tell everybody in the comments, you can do it. So tell myself that I can do it. <laughs> so, this isn't a pattern. This is just something I did. This is just a little graph that I found that I saved on my Pinterest and then I just used it. Um, so yeah, I just counted the spaces and did it except for back here. I should have, I could have probably moved them over a little bit, but that's fine. That's the back of the hat. And if anything, I could put it in the front. 
So I got Alpins, and I can put like a big old Alpin right there. Ooh. <laughs> See, the owl craziness is taking over, but yes, I love this. I seriously, I was like, I just did this last night. So, it doesn't take long to make a hat when you're like happy doing it. Well, of course, it's owls. I'm always happy. <laughs> um... I, I want to get started on my next one tonight. I don't know which one I'm making, but let me show you the goodies. Now, I'm telling you, I truly do like the Freelance yarn. Uh, I think I like it a lot better than the Arcade, which is like the Roven style type yarn. I like it so much better, and I truly want to make a sweater. Now, I know it's not going to come out that, but I'm, like, the way I envision it in my brain, I'm seeing, like, these really pretty, like, wonky stripe type things and I'm thinking that's going to come out really really cool I mean the way I see it I'm hoping it comes out like that but the way the hat came out that's how I'm kind of picturing this alright so my first scheme I know for sure who's going to like this one and this is why I bought extra because when I see things I know people would like ooh and I figured out a trick today which I'm so happy about so I was able, I'm not going to say what I did, but I was able to um, get myself yarn from Joanne for pickup. And I figured out something else. So that's going to be a lot of fun because I can just do that randomly for people. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> and the evil continues. I don't know why the evil continues. <laughs> Where did that come from? <laughs> I'm... <laughs> I'm tired and I took my pill so please excuse me uh, this color is blue multi again freelance the same 206 yards 100% acrylic but wait till you see this it has like royal blue and then it goes from light blue then it has like white 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 <laughs> um, I'm trying to think if it has gray or it has like blue but like twisted around with like some black pretty for China. There we go. Ooh, that came out good on camera too. I can't wait to see this in a hat. I have a feeling my husband's going to want a hat out of this one. It's a good thing I got a bunch because they were on sale. Before I show you the other ones, uh, if you can, Labor Day? I think it's, yeah, yes, 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 Labor Day. They're having a Labor Day sale. Now, one of those skeins are $8.99. I believe. I believe they're $8.99 each. Huh. Yeah. I think so. But I know there's something $99. I think it is $8.99. But they're having a Labor Day sale and 20% off your total. So, like, each scheme you get plus the 20% off. So, I pay, like, five something for each. Yeah, because I think I had, like, I forget how much I had off each. I want to say 40 but then I'm not good at math. So maybe it was 40 But anyway, I only pay like 5 something for each ski. I did get an avalanche, which I didn't even know I got, which I'll show you here in a second. But, yeah, so each ski was 5 something So if you can, do that and try to do store side pickup. Because um, when you do that, I think the 20% was just online. I don't think it was in the store. I'm not sure. But always when you go on to joannes.com, uh, go to the coupons first so you can see what coupons there are because sometimes they sneak in coupons that are better to use at the store. So then that's when it's in the hubby or I'll go along because I actually love shopping for yarn. I don't like shopping at all, but for yarn I do. Alrighty. Another avalanche. No. Freelance. This one is brown. Gold Rust Dusty Blue Multi. I love, love, love this one. And right away when I saw this, I thought of my husband. I thought he is definitely going to want a hat. He loves wearing my knitted beanies that I make. Um, I have one of those little knitted machines. This was not that knitted machine. This was all by hand. But um, for his beanies, sometimes I'll do a little winding machine to do them. But yeah, it all depends on what kind of style hat. If he wants those, then I do it that way. Isn't that so pretty? Ooh, I want to see a sweater out of 
this one too. Ooh, I got this, um, I forget what group I'm in on Facebook, but uh, she posts free patterns every day uh, that people post up and you put like the code in on Raverly, sometimes Etsy, and then you get your free pattern. And I got this really pretty scarf, um, shawl scarf thingy. Pat Ooh, that's gonna be pretty. Alrighty. I got a, I don't know how many of those I got, too. I try to, if I can, get extra in case somebody sees it and I have enough. I'd be like, oh, okay, and like put it in a box. Um, this one is green, brown, multi. Online, the green came out like a springy green. But I'm really happy with it. I really do love it. Even though it's not my colors. Um, I like purple. <laughs> but I don't know. I wear everything I guess. But I really do like this. Again, my husband's most likely going to want this for a hat. Holy. There we go. It has like olive green. Gold and brown. Let's see. Answer him. Then, this one I also thought of Lady, uh, Lady, I don't say Ladybug. We call them Ladybugs. In England, they call Ladybugs Ladybirds, which I thought was so cool. I was like, I wonder why she calls herself a Ladybird. I think I answered, she explained to me that Ladybugs or Lady, Ladybugs or Ladybirds in England, which I thought, that's so cool. <laughs> I don't know. I thought all bugs were the same. It's. It's so cool when you learn something new. And I always say you learn something new every day. And it's, and it's so true. <clears throat> Sorry. Buzzes again. I usually attack my nose because I'm always like... Eh. But today they're like... The throat. <laughs> this one is blue, green, multi. The only thing is it has a little tiny bit of purple in it. Which I don't think she's going to like. I don't think she likes purple or pink. Or maybe it's just the pink. It's coming out like a rosy pink, but it's more of like a lavender. But it's so little, and she could probably just cut it out if she wants to. But again, that is the Freelance. I really like this one, too. I really, really do. What did I say? Blue, green, multi. Huh. That looks more like gray. That don't look like green to me. Maybe it's like a sea foam. Alright, that's that one. Bear with me while I grab it. <sighs> Alrighty. Sorry. This is Arcade. And I don't I honestly don't remember. See, there it goes the plus tax my nose now. To go you want your nose fine i don't remember putting this in my cart but i had to check because i was like i don't want them giving me free yarn you know i don't want to steal by accident but you know it's there so must have been like doped up on a pill or something like let me get this <laughs> um arcade and now arcade is 154 yards it's 100 percent uh acrylic and it says Four for a blanket, five for a sweater, one for a hat, and three for a hat and scarf. Um, now, I talked about this before. I went way up in the hooks. It says to use a 6.5. And, oh. Yeah. It says to use a 6.5. I use, I'm going to say eight. Yeah. I used eight for one project and nine for the other. And I liked it way, way, way better than using the 6.5. This color is Peacock Multi Ellen. Right when I saw the name of this, I was like, oh yeah, that's Peacock. There we go. Isn't that so pretty? Ooh. I am thinking about, since I have enough of these, um, uh, the pocket, the pocket, <laughs> the pocket, <laughs> the pocket shawl <laughs> that I did, um, the cascade pocket shawl, um, I'm gonna do one, I'm gonna do that on this, 
that is going to be beautiful. Ooh, maybe I'll do a blanket. Who did I say I wanted to do a blanket? Somebody, I said I, I, said I wanted to do a blanket. Somebody commented, yes, that'd be so pretty in a blanket. And I was like, thinking in my head, or I might have said it like, yes, I need to get this stuff for a blanket. I wonder if I have enough, but this, ooh, this in that little cascade nest, this will be gorgeous. I'm I'm definitely going to do, because my daughter, she loved the pocket shawl so much that she took it. And I said, okay. And I love that. If my kid, I know you love that hat. My son took the hat. I love when, like, my husband will see certain things. He'll be like, oh, I like that. This is so mine. Oh, my goodness. Let me tell a quick story. Because I'm done with the yarn. Those are the, what did I have? Four, four colors that I got. But like I said, like when I can, I get a bunch. So that way, if anybody likes it, I could put it in a box. I did get some. I'm not going to say for who. So that way, they'd be surprised. But the blue, definitely, I thought of my ladybird. I almost said ladybug. My ladybird because she is blue rather than yeah. I think I said that to her once. It's just so funny because if you see, like, um, watch her live. She's hilarious. I mean, she cracks me up anyway. But, um. Her room or her living room or whatever it is, is blue. And so the song always pops in my head. She lives in a blue house. <laughs> I wonder if her car is blue. <laughs> I, I like always think really of that. Yeah. So I always think of that. Okay, so story time. I like to make a whole bunch of hats. Like I said, I had that little Centro Nida machine. Um, I love it. It does really nice size hats. My husband loves them. Uh, his uh, people at work love them. So if you can, get yourself a center. The Audi or Aldi or whatever is really super expensive. And it does the same thing. Than that. And it, I think it was a little bit bigger than the Aldi. I forget. All I know is I had mine now for a couple of years. Way before it was like the hit thing. <laughs> and I love it. It whips up like I could do like so many knitted hats now this like I said was hand knitted but when I do his beanies um, sometimes sometimes I will hand knit it all depends on what he wants if he wants like a graph design of course I'm gonna hand knit that but um if he wants just like a beanie uh, to do it quicker I'll do it in there so last year I was making a whole bunch of hats I put them in little bags and um, ziploc bags and then I'll hang them. Well, hang them out and I'll say, What's the saying that I said? Oh, I thought it was so cute. Roses are red, violets are blue. Here's a handmade hat made just for you. Or something like that. I think that's what I did. Something like that I put out there. And, you know, I have a little sign and I put the hats out there. That way, if anybody's walking around, they can grab a hat. Um, and I. Well, you guys know I'm a mother. I see kids out there. Ooh, this last winter, this little boy, he goes around the neighborhood. He'll knock on doors and say, hey, you know, I could shovel your sign up for a couple dollars. Well, he did that to me, and I said, boy, where is your jacket? And he came in, like, a sweatshirt, no gloves, no hat. He goes, well, I don't have one. I said, what you mean you don't have a jacket? It's freezing out here. Your butt's going to get sick. And he just looked at me. He was like, um... I don't know. I said, you hold on. I went, got one of my husband's jackets. I got some hats. I found some gloves. I said, you put this on right now before you can sit. He goes, yes, ma'am. I said, you don't call me ma'am. <laughs> so he that put it on. He was all warm. I said, I'm sorry. I don't have money for you to do the sidewalk. Well, I usually pay him 20 to do the sidewalk, but I did it. This, of course, my husband did it. But I said, now when you're out there working, you would be warm. And I said, and I'm going to keep an eye on you. You better still have that on. Yes, I will. Thank you. <laughs> so, and then I gave him a couple. And I said, if your little friends don't have any, you give these out. So, hopefully he did. Or if he kept them, whatever. He put them to good use. Mm -hmm. But, boy, the mother in me just went to town. And I'm not afraid to do that. If I see a grown man walking this year, I'm like, <laughs> You want to get sick? You want to get pneumonia? Like, and they're looking at me like this. I'm like, you take a hat. <laughs> like, they're probably thinking I'm like the crazy hat lady. <laughs> I say it that way because Moana. What's it called? I always mess it up. Okay. Crazy village lady. Crazy village lady. Crazy cat lady. No, the village crazy lady. Oh, the village. 
see you messed it up the village crazy lady so i'm the neighborhood crazy hat lady i guess i don't know but i've been called worse I'm just kidding <laughs> what movie is that from i don't know it just popped in my head um what was i talking about oh yeah so that's what i do so but last year i had i got i love this yarn from hobby lobby and i forget the colorway of it i mean not the colorway the not stone wash it was something but it was really pretty and had like tans but every time i made a different hat like the design was like totally different so even though it was like the same colorish yeah the color was the same how it knitted out was totally different my husband was like oh i like this one oh i like this one i said boy you have like 40 hats and you have one head yes but you see now i can wear one new one every single day and then you have to make me more so i can make wear them next month one new one for the remainder of days that tricky little boy <laughs> uh, I, I was like really boy really but yeah i don't mind like i said like i, I really get excited when family members or somebody likes my things and you know it just boosts you because <clears throat> we can all be down on ourselves sometimes and then when somebody really truly really likes something it is like oh i did something nice you know i get a star now but you do just feel like wow you know it makes you feel really good so i always get excited when he likes something because he well he does like a lot but he doesn't get like overly excited about things so when you really get ex he gets excited you know okay he really really likes that my dad was the same way my dad um he was a i want to say big not big like chunky but you know macho man and he was like you know his face people were like oh he's scary but he wasn't scary <laughs> as a teddy bear no he could be scary but he wasn't like if someone would attack the family he would be beyond scary but most of the time, he was just as sweet as can be, you know. He always helped people and always nice. But he would be like, oh, yeah, that's nice, you know. But if he liked something, he'd be like, ooh, I like that a lot. And then he'd be like talking about it, talking about it, talking about it. Like, he was always like that with my mom and her blankets. He would, like, ooh, that blanket is so nice. And he would take it. And it would just, it would, it would always make me laugh. Like, that's so funny. Um, I, would, I always think about that now because he never ever saw me he like he passed away that's it <laughs> that's crazy cause that's what my dad used to do <laughs> um he passed away let me think mm, fifth daddy yeah my daddy oh, i want to say 15 or 16 years ago 2005 yeah 16 16 years ago, he passed away. Well, we'll be 16 in October. This October. October the 4th will be 16 years. So, he never got to see uh, any of my jewelry that I made. Because I just started out making jewelry. Uh, I, he did get to see me knit. I made him a couple knitted scarves. So, I do remember that. But, he never got to see anything for a shade. So I could only imagine how he would be now, especially with like the amigurumis that I that I make. He would think I could do anything, and he would be making me make him like Santana or I don't even know. I was like, what? <laughs> he would just go crazy. So yeah, alrighty. I chitter chattered enough, and I apologize. <laughs> Sometimes I get hyper when I take my pills. Sometimes I get drowsy. And today was a sunny, beautiful day. It was like yesterday never happened. Me and my sister were laughing about that because yesterday was stormy like all day long. I liked it. I love cool, rainy days. But I don't like when it, with the damage it does. You know, like I don't like that. But yeah. And then all of a sudden today, beautiful weather, sunny as could be. Like, ah. Like, I'm over it yesterday. I just had to have a good cry. Today, I'm wonderful again. Like, we were like, <laughs> weather, make up your mind. <laughs> it was crazy. But, um, yeah, we were just having a good laugh about that. Uh, but it's not funny at all um, what the weather has done for so many of you. And my heart truly does go out to you. My prayers go out to you. And I know 
sometimes sometimes when you're going through something like that's so bad you're like what's a prayer gonna do but you have no idea what someone's thoughts their prayers or whatever it can truly do for you it can lift you or even somebody just say hey how are you doing today do you need anything it can lift you up so yeah if any of you have been affected by anything please reach out if you do need something i will truly do my best to do whatever i can to help um like i said before i'm not a millionaire i don't have like you know but you better believe if you need help I will go above and beyond and try my hardest to help you. So, my heart is out to you. I hope me? all of you are safe. Of course, I love you. We hope all of you are safe and, um, you know, doing good. Especially That's, with those things. So. Yeah. Um, little so, hoops said, especially with the tornadoes and the hurricanes and, and everything. Floods. The floods. Floods are really dangerous. That's right. Especially how you can go under them, dog. Right, so we here at the Hoot House, our hearts are with you, okay? And please, 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 I mean, even if you just need someone to talk to, and just the name of a chatter box, I will talk to you. <laughs> no, but no, I truly do mean that. I don't mean the joke. I will, I will listen, you know? I could be a very good listener. Sometimes I don't talk that much because I do tend to get really shy, but I will definitely be here for you in any way possible. <laughs> So I hope you all had a hooterific day. Yeah. I know I did today. I actually felt pretty good. Even though my face is really puffy today and I just puffed it out more. <laughs> um, it's just the weather and uh, sometimes my face just does that. So we hope you have a hooterific night. Now, bye! bye.